might know this. It's called St. James Infirmary. Uh, this is interesting. We um, kind of mixed a couple arrangements with this one. And uh, it's cool. Half, uh, part of this arrangement is uh, from, a, from a fellow named, um, what, uh, what was his name, Zach? Oh, I don't remember. Anyways, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Well, they're probably not watching. Now. Oh, that's right. Oh, Zach White. <laughs> that's right. Zach White's orchestra. They do a really great uh -huh. um, version of St. James. And actually, it's the first one I ever heard. And then, But we did a little combo here. It's pretty swell. I hope you like it. Zach White. 
Uh, and countless other versions. I mean, it's just one of those songs that's been running around. It's it's a it's an immigrant. It came over from the British Isles. It, you know, it it changed color. It changed dimension. It, it went through a lot of changes. It, but but it's remarkably resilient. <laughs> and you rarely hear it at that speed. Rarely. <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay. Well said. Thank you. Immigrants, they get it done. They sure do. Yay! <laughs> uh, here's a Duke Ellington song. He's one of our favorites. We play him a lot, so uh, here's a, one of his slower tunes. It's called Good Gal Blue. That, uh, I wrote. It's called Shagtown Jubilee. And this is your uh, Yeah! And uh, my father wrote the lyrics for this. Yeah, he did. And uh, so I've been singing those lyrics in the last few years that we've been doing this tune. Uh, but just, just the other day, I was going through some old papers and I found another uh, two stanzas that he had written uh, for this song that I had forgotten about or didn't know about. So um, I'm going to go ahead and sing those. Instead of taking a cornet solo tonight, I'm going to do something special and sing those uh, unheard lyrics for you all. Yeah. 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 And here we go. <laughs> this is uh, Shagtown <laughs> Jubilee.
working on that one for you. It's a lot of words. Is it yeah. daddy? Take that a big daddy. swig of that. You're going to need mm. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was Jelly. It's me. I'm Weston. Uh, <laughs> here's a tune uh, I'm going to sing for you. It's called My Daddy Rocks Me with One City Roll. Yeah.
thanks everybody. Yeah. So yeah, it's getting uh, getting hot in here, but we're gonna we're gonna try to cool it down about you know about now. Trying to sing about some snow. So. Getting swifty. Yeah. <laughs> This one's a song I wrote and arranged called Snowbound in a Cabin.
can tell I like this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> hi. <laughs> this is a good old good one by Irving Berlin that I first heard from the Mills Brothers with Louis Armstrong. So this is our version of it. <clears throat> How about some Duke Ellington? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do a tune of his called East St. Louis Toodaloo.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. St. Louis to blue. That were, that were nice. All right, well, since we're doing some Ellington, we'll do some more. Okay. Why not? This is a beautiful you tune. can't have just one. But slower. It's played really well by Lauren Gould over here called Ispahan. <laughs> Let's talk about waste management, management, shall we? It's an important subject. I think that we we need to address it, but we can address it in song, which makes it much more enjoyable. So, this is a song by Clarence Williams. As much as any of the songs were by Clarence Williams were by Clarence Williams. <laughs> Um, uh, um, I wasn't there. I, I, I couldn't tell. But it, it sounds like a Clarence Williams song to me. But yeah, who knows? Uh, one, two. I want two, three, four. <laughs> Mooch and about Smokey Joe. Well, gather round 
know why I tell you about a boy that you should know. Folks all call him Cherry the Joker down in Chinatown. He's deep, dumb, blind, and lame, but he really kicks the gong around. Oh, Jerry the Joker. Jerry the Joker. Oh, raggedy clothes and all toned shoes. How that boy can yodel the blues. Everything just seemed to use from Jerry the Joker. Jerry the Joker. All right. him to die. He turned around and laughed out loud and spit in that judge's eye. They strapped him to the electric chair. It was time for him to die. Ten thousand gold shot through him, but the boy didn't bat an eye. Oh, Jerry the Junker. Jerry the Junker. All raggedy clothes and all torn shoes. How that boy can't sing the blues. Everything you see me use from Jerry the Junker. From the hooping car, oh Jerry the Junker, Jerry the Junker, raggedy clothes and old toned shoes. How that boy can yodel the blues? Everything you see me use from Jerry the Junker, Jerry the Junker, Jerry the Junker, raggedy clothes, old toned shoes. How that boy can sing the blues? Everything you see me use from Jerry. From Jerry the Junker Any bags, any bones, any bottles today? Mm. <laughs> Guy Forsyth, y'all. Yeah. There we are. Okay. Sorry about that. So one of the cool things about this band is just about everybody. I think yeah, everybody writes and arranges and contributes to it. But we actually, for this tune, um, got somebody else to do. Uh, this is an original tune uh, by uh, David Leroy, Leroy Biller, who's a fantastic guitar player in town. Um, I used to play with him in the Jazz Pharaohs back in the day. Um, but he wrote this beautiful tune, and uh, I'm gonna try and do it justice. It's called Samoa. Thank you. 
Dave Biller has a killer karaoke band, too. <laughs> yeah, that's right, he does. He does. It's, it's actually pretty good. <laughs> what do you know? Another Duke Ellington number. Me! Wow. Yay! Hey. Hey. like the Duke. All the way from Washington, D.C. Indeed. This is a lively one. It's called Rockin' and Rhythm. Arranged by Mark there. And the challenge of this is uh, taking a whole big band score and scaling it down for four horns. And the thing that, that actually has to happen is that everybody has to work more than twice as hard. <laughs> I, I think there's maybe four bars rest in all these people's parts a lot. Do so you like how he just yeah. suggested that this was not a big band? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pocket big band. Uh, right. It's the littlest big band
So we're gonna take a little break here. Let guy, so, let guy take one. Horns are gonna take a break. <laughs> Not that guitar. You have that guitar. Are we gonna? Yeah. Let's go. Psych. This is a tune by a group called Cats and the Fiddle. When you've been mistreated and you're feeling blue, just remember this song. Remember this tune. And you'll know why I do like I do. I'm just a roamer, got no place to stay. Just another fellow going his way Looking for a loved one, never really had one That's what makes me roam this way No need to hurry, got all the day No one to say, oh please won't you stay I'm a roamer, always been a roamer That's what makes me roam this way Someone, please come and take a chance with me. I'm so lonesome, can't you see? Just on this Romeo with no place to go. New York or California, it's all been the same. No one to love me or to call my name. I'm a roamer, always been a roamer. That's what makes me roam this way. Come on, Jay. chance with me I'm so lonesome can't you see just a homeless Romeo with no place to go New York or California it's all been the same no one to love me or to call my name I'm a roamer always been a roamer that's what makes me roam, la 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 la. That's what makes me roam this way. Can you toss this in the dustbin for me? Sure. Funny, I've been listening to a lot of Cats in the Fiddle lately. Well, nostalgia. We're gonna, have a, we're gonna have our host come up and say a few words. Yeah, you wanna just, yeah, get, get up in there. Get up One more time for this awesome band. Again, my name is Colin. Thank you all so much for coming out to Monks to hear this band tonight. I just want to invite you all to come see some more music here. This Thursday uh, night, we have the Tommy Howard Trio. He's a fantastic guitar player here in town. He's doing a tribute to a bunch of different uh, trio records over the decades. And then uh, Friday night, uh, coming out of the New Orleans area, uh, Kim Prevost, a great vocalist, and Bill Solly. They uh, came and played our venue probably last year around this time. Uh, they'll be joined by Adam Jackson on the drums and Mike Malone on the saxophone. It's going to be a great quartet. And then uh, Gabriel Santiago, more of a uh, he's a Brazilian jazz guitarist who was living here for many years. I believe he's got I believe he got his doctorate at the U University here 
at uh, UT. He's been living in Colorado for a while, but he's got some new music he's going to premiere. And then uh, on Saturday night, we've got the Austin Classical Jam bringing in a 10-piece uh, percussion ensemble. It's like a debut of a bunch of new music. There's going to be all these like marimbas and vibraphones and crazy <laughs> instruments up here. So we've got a full calendar this week. Please check us out online. Uh, we'd love to have you back. And if you're tuning in on the internet, you know, if you're on Facebook, that's great. Like, share, follow the page, all that stuff. But uh, please go to that YouTube URL, the video, and more importantly, the audio quality is so much better on YouTube. You can put it on the big screen with the sound bar, really, you know, dive into the concert we're playing tonight. Uh, but most importantly, we do have a small studio here. So if you're tuning in online, please do go to that Venmo and the PayPal in the description there uh, and the comments and, uh, you know, leave a tip to support these, these fine working musicians. Thank you. All right, here's one about the Dust Bowl. We all know what a party that was. Am I right? <laughs> no, pretty bleak times in American history. I mean, like really bleak, like super bleak. <laughs> I mean, it's already had this Great Depression going on and people can't hardly uh, catch a break and uh, you get food on their family. Um, <laughs> then suddenly there's epic dust storms whipping up and uh, blocking out the sun and killing herds of cows, flocks of buzzards coming in, feasting on the rotting carcasses out in the dusty plains. Yeah. Bleak times. Wow. Wow. But you know, as they say, uh, at least we got some great songs out of it. <laughs> Thanks to Woody Guthrie, uh, Hargy Carmichael, and there's this one it's by a guy named Johnny Marvin. It's called Dust, and I'm going to sing it.
Dust. That was Paul Schlichting for Dust. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to invite our wonderful bassist and human being, Mr. Ryan J. Gould, to sing this next number. Give it up for Ryan J. Gould. <laughs> as he single-handedly sets up this microphone. What more can he do? He's incredibly talented. <clears throat> Here it is. I need this breeze to blow all that dust away. <clears throat> Are you gonna say a few words or shall we begin? I like words. Which words would you like me to say? That's good. That always ends up turning into a story about Frankenberry. <laughs> this song is called Breeze. It's old. If you haven't guessed, that's the theme of all of our music. <laughs> no, we have some new original. That's true. We write our own stuff. They sound old. We're, 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 we're trying to mold them up. Mold was two weeks ago, guy. I'm over it. <laughs> or I may not be. You might hear the remnants in my voice. Breeze is a tune that uh, I most learned from Willie the Lion and Clarence Williams. They have a great record of it. I wholeheartedly encourage you to go listen to it. Mm -hmm. And now, without further ado, we will not sing the words to this verse because they're a little bit funny. <laughs> but they will play a beautiful rendition of the verse. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Begging you, I'm on my knees, blow. 
Thanks, everybody. All right, y'all ready for some jug band music? Yeah. That, that sounds nothing like jug band music. <laughs> we removed the jug <laughs> for your safety. Well, wow, speak for yourself. <laughs> Put a little extra dose of white into it. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty. Tragically, it was our only option. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean that in. Uh, in a self-deprecating way, believe me. <laughs> this was originally done by the Memphis Jug Band, who uh, was the most prolific of the jug bands of the jug band era. They're fantastic, and I, I credit them as sort of being the first uh, rap group, really. Like, basically, like, early, early roots of uh, gangster rap, stuff like that. Not messing with you. Yeah. Uh, and here's a great song they did, uh, Fourth Street Mess Around. Street. 
Laura Gould doing a wonderful rendition. did the perfectly timed right? It's awesome. A lot of practice. Really good. <laughs> oh, well, I got to sing one now. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> okay. Take a deep breath. Well, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Roy Eldridge and, uh, and our Tatum, actually. They don't play trombone, but I really love them both. And um, they uh, did an album together and played this song called Moon Song that kind of just stuck in my head. And um, I really dug it. And... Uh, and I found out Satch actually sang it, and there's lyrics to it, and for some reason I decided I'd, I'd try and sing it. <laughs> so uh, it's called Moon Song, and it uh, kind of goes like this. Oh, 
To the Lion uh, arranged, again, down from a bigger band. It's uh, originally done by Fletcher Henderson, the true king of swing. A lot of people don't know Fletcher Henderson gave all of his, or sold all of his charts to Benny Goodman, and then Benny Goodman took him to the West Coast and created swing. <laughs> Yet another example of, of whites taking advantage of blacks in the music industry. But, uh, but hey, both are good. This is uh, the original one. This is... This is pretty sweet. Yeah. Stampede. Thank you. 
going to slow it down here and do a little tango. Mm. Mm, tango. <laughs> By Sidney Bechet, one of our other favorites. Is, it, is this a song where we take off our clothes? <laughs> Apparently so. You know, this is just a really beautiful song about love. Any Fred and Ginger fan fans out there? You might you might know this. No? You might know this tune. Yeah. This song always makes me think of our friends Alex and Samantha because I think this is Aww. their song. So it goes out to them if they're, if they're tuning in. <sighs> one, two, I want to do four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Any Count Basie fans out there? I love some Count Basie, and there's a real famous tune that he does called Moan Swing. Um, it's really fun to play. Uh, anybody that plays in a big band loves to play that song. Um, but before Count Basie did it, Benny Moten did it. And it, it's actually a completely different arrangement. And uh, this one's a lot of fun, too. And we're going to play it for you right now. Gonzalez with the arrangement there. Yeah, so Cal Basie actually got a start in Benny Moten's orchestra. And uh, one day Benny Moten's orchestra were playing in, the, in Denver, and Benny stayed behind for a tonsil, tonsil, tonsillectomy and died on the cutting board table. And thus begins the career of Cal Basie. He took over, and the rest is history. Ooh, and now we have a pleasant little surprise here. <laughs> well, on that note, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, my first attempt at arranging for horns, and these guys do a beautiful job with it, so I'm happy to uh, get to do it. It's called What a Day to be Lonely.
Somehow I missed all the clues They're so clear What's the day that I caught a glimpse of you? Jamie Cummings, everyone. I told you you were in the car. All right. This, uh, that was wonderful. This, uh, this past Sunday was the, <laughs> the first Sunday of Lent in the uh, ecclesiastical liturgical calendar. So the, uh, the Old Testament reading was from Genesis chapter 2 and 3, and it was about Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, and uh, they were being tempted by Satan to disobey God. And then we, uh, the next reading is from Matthew 4, and it's the New Testament. And this is when Jesus goes out into the desert, and he's, uh, and he's tempted by Satan also, but he has, he has better, better luck. <laughs> <coughs> so, regardless, regardless, uh, tempting man and uh, the son of man is, is, uh, is, uh, is no light fair for old scratch, you know? So, um, <laughs> It's a big job. It got us to wondering, uh, does, does Satan ever get a break? <laughs> right? Uh, so uh, this, this, question, this question was answered for us already back in 1937 by Larry Clinton. And, um, and uh, uh, he wrote a song about the kind of uh, uh, music that, that Satan is into when when he's he's having a he's having a little break. So this is a this is a song called uh, Satan takes a holiday.
was quite entrancing when he did the jangle his own way. Bones were rattling loudly as he began to shuffle proudly, and that's the way that Satan takes a holiday. The music wasn't good, but it was plenty spooky. That's the way he likes it night and day. The gentleman prefers the aggravating rhythm. That's the way that Satan takes a holiday. Watch out! Satan. Bon voyage. <laughs> David Yelena, a scholar as well as a wonderful musician. <laughs> and he loves dolphins. Uh, uh, here's a tune that's uh, was popular back in the Roaring Twenties. We apparently skipped the ruin part and went straight to the depression now in the century. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Still time. Yeah. yeah. We're doing what we can.
Anderson. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. James P. Johnson, wonderful, wonderful stride pianist, and composed that last song. Um, Hey, I just want to say thanks again to Colin for yeah. creating this amazing yeah. space. Yeah. And, uh, and I think you have a, a crew now. You started off doing this all on your own, I think, right? But now you have a bit of a team, so also to Colin's team. Yeah. Uh, thank you, y'all. <laughs> and I thank all of you guys in the audience for being here. How y'all doing? It's so amazing to see you. I can't see you very well because the lights, but I can tell you're just wonderful because your spirits are beaming out at us. Um, so yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll also the folks at home, we can't see you either, but we know you're there and we're very glad. We're very glad to all of y'all for being there and listening, tuning in uh, from the comfort of your home. Shout out to Aunt Brenda, if you're still watching. Um, <laughs> yeah, and thank you very much for your love offerings, your contributions. This is a nine-piece band. That's a lot of mouths to feed, and we really appreciate y'all. So on that note, we're going to play another tune that is a little bit off the beaten track for this band. And uh, it's a wonderful, I don't know, I think you'll recognize it. Anyway, Jamie Cummins. <laughs> She wanted my soul Don't think 
Jamie Cummins, y'all. Thank you. Well, heck of a darn. I think this is our last one, yeah? Oh, all good things must come to an end, folks. But uh, the pleasure is truly ours. And I mean it. Um, what, no, really, thank you so much, y'all. And uh, thank you to the club. What a wonderful place. It sounds great. The videos are always super sweet. And we're going to end it with a raucous number. It's an old tune that is uh, 100 years old this year. This is 100 years old, folks. Um, this was the, the punk rock of its time. Um, amongst, all, well, pretty much that whole, the whole jazz era was basically punk rock, but let's, let's be real. Um, this is an old King Oliver tune, and uh, King Oliver's the one who called Louis Armstrong up from New Orleans up to Chicago, and he joined the band, and they made this super swell recording, and this is our version, it's called Snake Rag.